So we have Websites V2 coming out soon for races. And as part of that update, we have this Strava Roots component that lets you embed Strava maps into your website. Now, Websites V2 is not out yet for races, but it is out for memberships. And Kevin, you've been playing around with that on your test membership, right? Yeah. So what I've kind of played around with is an example here where if you have like a cycling club and you have memberships on our new membership platform. So I'm part of a cycling club. And what my club does is they'll post their upcoming rides um, with maps and everything like that. And they'll update it on a weekly basis. So kind of I replicate a little bit of that here. So I have a upcoming rides page here. And there's sections for each day that there is a group ride. So like a Tuesday, Thursday ride, a Sunday ride, a Friday ride, so on and so forth. And you can see that you can create a Strava route. And as long as the route is public, you can embed this into your um, membership website here. So it's really nice here. So like, for example, this is the Tuesday, Thursday route, and you can see right on the website the exact route. Um, you can click on Strava and you can download it if you need to get it onto your bike computer or anything like that. You can do a flyover so you can get a preview of um, the course. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just a nice way and a nice clean way to um, get the routes um, out to your members um, for that specific week's ride. So I, I, I did this ride last summer. Um, it's up in the Catskills. I was going to say, that doesn't look like Jersey. No, it's uh, lots of climbing. It was a fun day. Part of this feature too is we can embed Strava clubs to maps as well. Um, the th only thing with this is the route and the club um, admin need to be the same person. So to set this up is pretty easy. Um, if you go to the membership dashboard page and you go to website and website builder, and you can put it on any of your pages. Um, so I've created all of these pages for how to become a member, guidance, and all this other stuff. So if we go to the upcoming rides page, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we'll, we'll start it. We'll add a new one here. So you can either add a new section or you can use the plus sign to add a new component. So let's add a new component and let's uh, select Strava map. And Right here, this is where you would put in all of your Strava IDs um, for your route, or and if you're also um, linking to a club, you can put in your club ID as well. So to find your Strava route ID, once you've created the route in Strava, you go to Dashboard and Strava, and you go to My Routes, and then you would click into that specific route. Once you click into that route, you'll have this URL right here and those last set of numbers on the URL. That's the ID that you want to copy and paste over to the run sign up side. And again, for these routes to be able to be embedded onto your website, you, these routes do need to be public. So if you have a private route, what you'll want to do is just edit and save it. And then you'll have the option to set it as a public route. And again, this is super useful for a lot of these endurance types of clubs, cycling clubs, running clubs. You can all do this as well. And this is going to be coming out for races in the near future where races can put on their course maps using Strava on their race websites. So as an example here, Bob um, has put the Scott Coffee course map via the Strava link on the website here. We're going in. The flyer is fun. Yeah. If nothing else, use Strava for the flyover. Yeah, and, and flyovers are, are actually useful where, you know, if you have a, a little more of a complicated course where I know for me as a runner or a cyclist, I kind of like to know where I'm going and have a general idea. And if there's like complicated turns or anything like that, having this flyover feature and just being able to know that like, you know, during the loop section, I'm going to be going counterclockwise or, or going clockwise is, it can be useful to the participant.